Okay, this is a demonstration and explanation of the Gauss Master EMF meter with an accessory infrasonic microphone attachment giving a person for the very first time ever the ability to hear infrasonic sounds. The Gauss Master converts in this application converts infrasonic sound up to audible sound that humans can hear. This uses a standard Gauss Master with an external antenna modification. All the Gauss Master modifications can be seen on my site Wavebender Magnetics. Just Google Wavebender Magnetics. So this is a Gauss Master and here's the ex antenna, external antenna mod and here's the sensor that was inside now relocated outside. So here's the noisomeness VCR I have running here. So the Gauss Master works as normal, the only difference being that the antenna now is located on the outside, which by the way is a very nice modification for the Gauss Master. So here's the um, uh, infrasonic microphone. This is a infrasonic microphone using standard Popolo uh, construction used at the Popolo infrasonic monitoring site. The information is on the web. This sensor uses the Honeywell transducer. Underneath of this windscreen is the sensing port and this tall thing is the tuning for the sensor which is a capillary leak here in the top and a backing volume. Here's another example of a backing volume and capillary leak that can be used for different tuning it for different frequencies and here's another example this is a backing volume with a capillary leak in the end of it so I'm going to connect up this Gauss Master to the infrasound microphone for battery power I have a set of rechargeable NICADs here that came out of a laptop. You can use a 9 volt transistor battery inside the box here if you want. The only advantage of this is, is it's rechargeable and it lasts a long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and hook it up here. Plug it into the external antenna jack of the Gauss Master. Plug it up to 12 volts DC power and turn it on. Oops. Okay, turn it off here. I'm going to turn it so you can see it. If I can, I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to set the Gauss Master. Well, it's, it's at mid scale. What you're hearing now is infrasound. It's sound below the level of human hearing that's being vo uh, voltage controlled oscillator modulated up to where a human being can hear it. In other words, there's a VCO or voltage controlled oscillator in the Gauss Master. That's all the Gauss Master is, is a voltage controlled oscillator with a meter on it. And into that voltage controlled oscillator we're introducing the output from an infrasound microphone right here and this microphone modulates the voltage controlled oscillator and now you can hear the infrasounds and we can verify this infrasound that the noise we're hearing first I'll do a test for you I'm going to go um, move a door 
to a room down the hall so you can see the just opening and closing the door has an effect on it. That's the door opening and closing down the hall. And this is the infrasonic ambient sound in the room. Now the cool thing about this is this. I can take this power supply, 12 volt power supply, velcro it to the microphone like this. Velcro the Gauss Master on top. Plug in the Gauss Master. And turn it on. And now I have a handy portable infrasonic microphone that I can carry around for paranormal investigations and ghost hunting or for looking for natural phenomenon, earth phenomenon like infrasonic resonances at the entrances to caves and other sources of infrasonic sound like elephants that come in out in the uh, natural world environment. So this is it. Never before seen a handy dandy easy way to use infrasonic sound detection with a Gauss Master EMF meter. Thanks.